Hey guys, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, today we're going to do a, another catch and cook. I'm starting to get caught up on some of my catch and cook videos, and we're going to do king mackerel. And a couple weeks ago, I caught some king mackerel out with Cheyenne, and also out with Amber in summer. So I'm going to show you a few, few clips of us catching some kings. And it's been in the freezer, and I've been t told that if you freeze kingfish, it isn't no good to eat. Well, we can prove that wrong right here today. Well, guys. Hope you guys enjoy these clips, and I'll see you in a little bit. We are hooked up. If I can keep them on, get my boat going. All right, got him. All right, got him hooked up. All right. Hopefully, this is a, our second king of the day. I hope. Hoping he's a nice king. Ooh, he's fighting now. Probably gonna be a bonita. All right, Shine, you ready to grab this rod? I'm gonna say it's a bonita. He's staying down. Come back here. Go back over there, Shine. Go back over there. Go back, Shine. Over there. Well, that's the king, I think. Here, grab it. Hold it. I can't tell. That looks like a King Mac. Oh, nice King Mac. There we go. Second King of the day, y'all. Another good one. Hold that up, baby. Very good. Ooh, all right. Awesome. And real quick, yes, this is a different truck in the background. This is actually my father's truck. My truck is in the shop getting worked on. And I should have it back in a couple days. Just in case y'all wonder. All right, guys, I'm hooked up again. Literally, I just threw this right out. And I hope this feels like a shark, though. Yeah, this is a shark. And yeah, this is a shark. This is a shark. Summer, grab the gaff, babe. Just in case it's not a shark, but I have all ideas it is a shark. Might not be. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's my rod. So we got. Let's see what we got. Looking like a king. It's a what king. It? It's a king. Mm -hmm. Yep, coming with a gaff. It's looking like a king. Oh shit. It's a king. It's a king. Big king. Something. Watch out. Watch out. Open that cord. I'm gonna throw them right, I'm gonna th yeah, I'm gonna throw them right on the cord. Alright guys, I'm at the cleaning table. I got my king shirt, I got my real nice one from today. And that one right there is Cheyenne's and we gave my dad one of the other ones that we caught. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean a kingfish. These things are extremely easy. These are Look at that pile of meat, guys. That's a lot of meat off two fish. 
All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. I got my kingfish fillets here. I got them cut in some nice sized pieces, got all the skin removed, all the bloodline removed. So I just got nice, clean fillets. And to this, I'm going to add some Dale seasoning. And I'm going to try this out after watching a video from Rad Reeling. And his link to his channel is going to be up here. And I saw him use this on some shark. He did a how to cook shark video the other day, which is an excellent video. Y'all should go check it out. And I'll put the link to that video in the description. So you can go check that video out. It's really good, y'all. So I'm going to let this soak in here for about three to five minutes. Let this kingfish soak up some of that Dale seasoning. And we'll get back to you. All right, guys, my kingfish has been soaking for about four minutes. I just got my heat turned on my pan here, my iron skillet. And to this, I'm going to put some olive oil. Just a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put our fish in here. I'm kind of making this up as I go. After watching that video, JC's rad reeling. I really like the idea of using the Dale seasonings on fish. I figured the kingfish would be a good candidate. So basically we're going to sear these in the olive oil. I'm going to add some butter and some seasoning and we're going to finish it off in the oven. If I can fit them all in here. those cook. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and flip these over. Very carefully. Alright guys, now to this I'm going to add some Black and Red Fish Magic, Chef Paul's y'all watch my channel you know I really like this stuff so I'm going to add that on top of here just like that just like that and then I'm going to add some butter Put this in the oven at about 375 for about 15 minutes. All right, guys, I got the fish out of the oven and it looks absolutely fabulous. It looks amazing, you guys. So I'm gonna take a fish out, put it over here. Get me a little glass dish over here. Definitely done. Alrighty. Alright. Now with the rest of all this stuff right here, I'm gonna turn the fire back on and I'm gonna make a gravy or a salt. Alright, I got my juice from my fish boiling right here. I'm gonna add one whole onion and a big spoonful of garlic. Let all this cook real quick. And to this, I'm going to add some more of the uh, Chef Paul's Redfish Magic. There we go. Alright guys, let's let this cook for a little bit. Alright guys, and to this, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Let that come back up to a boil. Alright guys, I got my sauce boiling again. So to this I'm going to add 
some cornstarch that put cold water in. And you have to use cold water or you won't get the desired uh, results. So let's go ahead and just start pouring this in. already thickened it real nice. There you go, now we got a nice little sauce put over our fish and rice. Very easy way of making some sauce or gravy. But let me tell you all, it is absolutely delicious. Alright guys, I got me a plate full of rice right here. And I'm going to put a couple pieces of fish on here. Just like that. And then I'm going to get my gravy or sauce, put it on just like this. Look at that, y'all. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely delicious. Hey, guys. Got my king mackerel all finished. Look at that. Doesn't that look good, y'all? I totally made this up as I went. I just went off uh, of JC, Rad Reeling, his video, where he uh, married some shark and some Dale seasonings, and I really thought that was a good idea. It's an excellent idea, JC. Thank you for it, brother. All right, guys, let's try this out. And this is frozen kingfish. Been in the freezer for a couple weeks. Holy moly. Wow. I'm going to have to write this down or revert back to this video for a later date. This is outstanding. I mean, really, really good. Now, this is my new favorite way to eat kingfish, you guys. This is incredible. Well, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please go check out the video JC made where I got this idea from. I'll put the link down in the, in the description and the link was earlier in the video please go check out his page well guys i want to thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing to my channel thank you guys very much i appreciate each and every one of y'all i truly do and if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick and that little bell for notifications and always shoot me a comment guys i like talking to each and every one of y'all well guys till i get to see you again soon here on the water tight lines y'all Thank you.